Alright, we'll go back to the final part of the Mario Kart 8 Mirror Mode run. And of course, to end this up in style, we're going to be playing as the, as the me version of Satoru Iwata himself. And we're going to play on the last cup of the game, the Bell Cup. Now, as part, some of you may be unaware, if in case anybody's unaware, I announced that I will be, uh, of course, extending play for Iwata for another week because... Basically, considering my, how busy my life is, well, socially and at work, I am actually haven't got everything done in time. So basically, I might as well get everything done. Either I'm gonna I either the I it will, play for a while to 2016 will either end Nick on the 7th of September, or it or when all the stuff has or the entire. Or the entire, all my projects have ended. So basically, basically, once all my projects are done, I'll be able to get on with my next project, which is more likely going to be a certain infamous Sonic game that a lot of people don't like. But on with Mario Kart. I'm going to put the Bell Cup contains a cla a couple of classic tracks. One from the well, Mario Kart Seven. Which is called Cooper City, and by God, this is probably the alongside Bone Dry Dunes and of course uh, Grubble Volcano. I never would have tracked that. Not really. Don't, don't really. That doesn't really work me very well. It's definitely my eyes the most infamous track in this entire game because of how because of how sharp the turns are, and of course it's easy to actually fall off the circuit. But if now I actually played this so many times and I still can't keep on the track all the time. It's not I don't really fall off as much nowadays, but but when it comes to trying to survive against everybody else, I just it seems like they of course to be designed to actually catch players like me out easily. My god, does it really show in this game? Ugh, that stupid banana peel. Ugh. Ah. And now Donkey Kong's in front of me. I've got to get in front of him. Oh, what? Oh, what? Beastly luck, I managed to not even hit that banana peel. That's good, but uh Am I way, Link? You did that you for that other banana peel and that tunnel you absolutely made. Oh come on. Oh, I don't want to be hit by that red shell. I've already got enough problems as it is. Alright, get me a good item. What coins? Ugh. Yeah, thanks Nintendo for screw me over with dinky coins and costing me a win. If any, if, Tim, if Nintendo tries to apologize, well guess what? Save it. Nothing that Nintendo can say will make that, make the whole experience for me any better. <sighs> Hopefully the last three actually are much better than this. Ribbon Road from my Super Circuit. Much better track though. Okay, so let's do this. Second race coming up. Now, in my honest with you, I actually enjoyed this version of the track. River Road on the Super Circuit is is it is actually is a is a pretty well designed course. I will admit, it's was it as well designed in Super Circuit. I'm gonna be honest with you. In the in this version, it's a lot. It's it's pretty good as well. And it's got some jumps in it as well. Well, considering how advanced the game is compared with that of Super Circuit. Super Circuit basically is a Mar Mar Mario Kart, S Super Mario Kart, but on the Game Boy Advance. And with, a cut, and with, and with, the, inter and with the lineup that has, that, has been, that, is, that has been retained from, Super, from Mario Kart 64. Out my way, out my way, you silly ape, DK.
up we go, up and over we go. Ooh, come on, DK. You you can't expect to run forever, because I'm going to get you for this. All right then. I can use the shortcut. Shortcut away. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Well, that was close. That was a close one, but at least I managed to keep it on circuit. Come on, Iwata me. I need to paint new pair of shoes. Come on. Let's pick it. I just need another sip of dark coke. Much better. Okay, so let's um Okay, I'm gonna get rid okay, I'm gonna see if I can try and get catch DK out with one of the battle Oh we went that way. You oh, I knew it. So those so, so don't really get taught to the shortcuts using the whether it's normal or mirrored, I kind of get caught out by the um, by by how um, how sometimes it doesn't show because of how low it is. All right, now that uh, DK managed to uh, flop at that race, and I managed to actually get a good amount of pointage, it's time for me to go to the Super Bell Subway. Alright, so let's go on, shall we? Third race, here we go! Ding! Ding! And what is, what is considered to be the most interesting part of this race is, of course, the old city music. When you're in the overgrounds, that means you actually are... The, the music is, of course, more smooth jazz type, but when you're actually underground, it's a more funky type music with the slap bass. And basically, uh, basically the music actually does a uh, underground, does the underground theme. Actually, kind of reminds me of the underground theme from Super Mario Brothers. That n n n absolutely. Seems like so many people remember this one of the most recognizable tunes in Mario history. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another blue shell. Now that's just great, in it? Seriously, what is up with this with this game's vendetta with this game's a real fetish with uh, um, blue shell fetish? I cannot have any words to explain why. Why? Why? Uh, the, uh, why? Everybody has to be obsessed with the blue shell all of a sudden, or even the lightning power up. I mean, it give. I do get it comes to leveling the field, but come on, well, come on, Nintendo, it's getting rather annoying. Ah! At least I've got the final lap. At least I managed to get back into the lead. Oh, I, I even cr. Uh, uh, Slow down right into the cr ticket barrier. That is just great, ain't it? So it looks like I'm gonna have a bit of a duel, a uh, lap long duel with uh, Link. <sighs> so in terms of uh, playing through water projects, I've still got that um, Super Mario Maker video and uh, that long overdue Super Mario Maker review to go. I've also got that. Splatoon, Splatoon uh, online uh, moments to, as well. Got the next um, little door of DSP. This time for Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. And uh, possibly that is it. I was originally to do another video based off. Um, and I was originally going to do another video, but I'm strongly going up against it. So basically, that after this one, it, that's about it. After, so after I've done the review, that's about it. So we're gonna save the uh, Nintendo themed. Uh, uh, it's uh, before anybody else 
no, Sid, it's that, uh, of course, the sub series of my, uh, par one of my parody series I'm currently making. Which basically is a video game like, um, montage. The video game montage featuring a certain, you know, person who is well known, who is a very well known, uh, parody source, but I am gonna, I'm gonna save the name because I don't want to mention it in front of my, uh, in front of my viewers, where this is supposed to be a, uh, you know, family-friendly um, LP. Um, I managed to avoid that. Uh, this stage gave me trouble, so I'm going to be saving it to, until during September. Oh my God! Uh, this is really, this is a uh, stage that really gave me trouble. Even though it's well designed, there is. One area where I keep getting caught out, and that is, of course, the players keep catching me out, and I keep either crashing down from first to, to of course, the lower position, and I keep... Oh, oh that was not very nice. Oh. Whoa! What? You've got to be kidding me! And I'm down into seventh place. That's just great, ain't it? For God's sakes, doesn't the AI... Cruelty, no, no bounds. Uh, it looks like I've got a lot of catching up to do. Unless the enemies make a big mistake. Which I believe they have, because they're now all bunched up together. And I've, I've managed to catch up with Donkey Kong quite quickly. Alright, so... Oh, no, I've got an item. Please let me finish. Please let me win. Please let me win. Oh, no. No, God damn it. No. He's going to try and uh, hit me with boomerang. Whoa! I managed to win by avoiding a boomerang shot. Because if Link won, I would have absolutely beat myself up. But I still... F but that was a pretty good finish, though, to, an LP to this LP, though. Okay, so basically, mirror mode, in my eyes, it's basically a much more hard version of 150cc. Even though 200cc is much more, you know, much more, you know, hectic and much more, you know, of a nightmare to do compared with 200cc. Compared with, of course, um, uh, mirror mode, but... With this finally done, I can finally put this to rest, and hopefully, I'm not really intending to do 200 CC suits. So basically, I'm done with this game right now. So that leads me to say thank you for watching this let's play. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, if you like this video, then subscribe for more videos. Drop a like, share with friends, and everything. So with that being said, it's sign out for now.